Hey guys, President's Day was on Monday, so Cinefix is gonna be movie presidenting it up all week long. But today on What to Watch, the show that lets you know what's streaming online now, we're changing pace a little bit and bringing you some of the suckiest presidents in cinema. First up is the 1999 flick about Richard Nixon, Dick. <laughs> I'm right, I love Dick. Dick follows Kirsten Dunst and Michelle Williams when they accidentally get involved in the Watergate scandal after wandering away from a school field trip to the White House. Offering a comedic take on who Deep Throat, the secret informant of the Watergate scandal, could have been, this movie weaves fact and fiction in the silliest way possible. It's no surprise that writer-director Andrew Fleming went on to direct the movie adaptation of Nancy Drew, because Dick is chock full of mystery and teenage melodrama. <laughs> This movie is over the top, with just the right amount of ridiculousness as the naive girls expose President Nixon. Check out Dick, now streaming on Amazon. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. If you've been living under a rock for the past week and a half, you are the only person on Earth that doesn't know that House of Cards Season 2 is now streaming on Netflix. I don't want to give it away, but if you're completely unfamiliar, the show follows Kevin Spacey as Frank Underwood on his rise to greater political power. He's on a mission to become president and is slowly but surely, through the most ruthless means possible, achieving his goal. Robin Wright, aka The Princess Bride, plays his wife and proves to be just as conniving as Frank. She actually won a Golden Globe for her performance last season. I don't know whether to be proud or terrified. Fun fact, even Obama's a fan. He jokingly asked Netflix CEO Reed Hastings if he could have advanced copies of new episodes of House of Cards. Hastings says, yes, of course, Obama, as long as you make a cameo in the show. Sadly, that didn't happen. I'm now three quarters of the way through the season, but if Frank Underwood gets his way and actually does become president, he will be, in my opinion, the worst president ever depicted on screen. Watch all of House of Cards, now streaming on Netflix. Also streaming on Netflix is Dave. When the sitting president of the United States falls into a coma after a rendezvous with his mistress, Dave, an ordinary, unemployed guy, is brought in to take his place. Because he looks just like the other guy, and nobody can even tell the difference. You're a very handsome man. Thank you, Mr. President. Just get rid of the grin. You look like a schmuck. Directed by Ivan Reitman, it's a slight political satire, but the real story revolves around the relationship between Kevin Kline as Dave and Sigourney Weaver playing the First Lady. Dave takes over and revives the president's bad reputation with his wife, the White House, and the country. It's a charming tale of how power in the right hands can be used for good. If we've made you all but give up on the US presidency from the bleakness of the rest of this list, watch Dave for at least a glimmer of hope. What'd you guys think of this week's list? Let me know in the comments below if I left out any sucky movie presidents, and be sure to like, subscribe, and place your right hand over your heart. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free... No, let me do it again. <laughs>